Hello, future scientists. In this lesson, we will discuss and talk about the stethoscope and its uses. These are the keywords stethoscope. It's a medical tool for listening to the sound of various organs. Heartbeat is the vital center or driving impulse of the heart. These video links will support and help you understand more about our lesson, so please watch these videos. Now, look at this picture. When was the last time you went to visit your doctor? Does your doctor use a stethoscope on you during your visit or your checkup? Why is a doctor using it? The doctor or nurse used to put the stethoscope on patient's body to listen to the sound. Remember, every human body creates sound. But how do you think the stethoscope works? Will the sound be louder or quieter through the stethoscope? We will find out how does a stethoscope helps us to hear the sound waves of human body. We hear when sound enters our ears. Sometimes we need help to hear some sounds. Doctors use a stethoscope to help them hear your heart beating. Stethoscope is a medical instrument for listening to the action of someone's heart or breathing. And using a stethoscope to hear sounds is called auscultation. Now, let's talk about what a stethoscope can do. It measures blood pressure. Probably this is the most common use. Identify lung sounds. With the stethoscope, it allows you to identify the rate, rhythm, and quality of breathing or any obstructions from the airways. It also identifies heart sounds. We listen for rate, type, and rhythm of heart sound as well as any sounds that shouldn't be there, okay? such as gallops, murmurs, or clicks. Identify bowel sounds. They say it is easy to do. And important if there may be a bowel obstruction, okay, like the gurgling, the bubbling noises. Also, stethoscope is used to measure the size of the liver. Usually, this is done with precaution, like tapping the belly. When you are over the liver, the sound will become more dull. Okay, also hearing aid for physician or the doctor. To hear, okay, the patient communication, the stethoscope makes a nice hearing aid with hearing impaired patients. Okay, and finally, detecting abnormal blood flow. Okay, the brute is an abnormal whooshing sound of blood through an artery that usually indicates that the artery has been narrowed. Usually can be detected in the neck, kidneys, and the temporal arteries. Doctors put the ear tips into the ears and listen to the sound. But how does the sound amplify through the tube? The stethoscope has two different heads to receive sound. This is the bell and the diaphragm. The bell is used to detect low-frequency sounds like some heart murmurs and some bowel sounds. The diaphragm is used to detect high-frequency sounds like breath sounds and normal heart sounds. Now, you can make your own stethoscope using these materials, funnel, cardboard tube, like the one from your kitchen towel or aluminum foil and tape, and then put this together and use your stethoscope to listen to a partner's heartbeat. Okay, the flat surface of the diaphragm is connected with a tube that is directed to the ear of the stethoscope. Okay, just try it. Now, what did you hear? Did you hear sound of the rustle of clothing? Because you cannot find a heartbeat. But what is the sound of the heartbeat like? Does it sounded like a drum? Now, let's understand how the disc and the tube of the stethoscope amplify small sounds such as the sound of a patient's lungs, heart, and other sounds inside the body, making them sound louder. The amplified sounds travel up the stethoscope's tube to the earpieces that the doctor listens through. Now, the diaphragm is a sealed membrane that vibrates, much like your own eardrum. The high-pitched sounds directly vibrate to the flat disc of the diaphragm. However, the low-pitched sound uses the inside wave reflection through the bell okay it picks the sound from the artery's movement and moves outward to vibrate the bell then it is directed to the tube and thus the sound is amplified when it does it moves the column of air inside the stethoscope tube up and down which in turn moves air in and out of your ear canal. And voila, you hear the sound, okay? In your ear, larger pressure waves make louder sounds. This is how stethoscopes amplify sounds. This sense of hearing is very important. 
All day, we listen to lots of different sounds like birds singing, top running, your mom talking. A diary is a daily record of personal activities or observations kept at frequent intervals. You can also make your own diary just like Lynn. She drew pictures and wrote words about what she heard from the time she woke up to going to school, when she's at home, and even in bed. Okay, this could be a fan activity where you can compare with your partner's diary, discuss and share the similarities and differences between your diaries. Please complete your workbook on page 75 using a stethoscope. And now, challenge yourself. What can you hear after your partner has been jumping up and down? And how could you make your stethoscope even better? Future scientists, let's hear your thoughts. Thank you and you are doing great.